if, if, see, we don't get audio. No, yeah, we don't right, get audio. Right, right. I don't know why that happens. But uh, uh, hey, guys, welcome to the Wolf Den Podcast. We're here. Hey, we're back. We're here. Yeah, this is what that wasn't a fluke. We're that actually doing it. Live. We're doing it like this from now yep. on. My ears. What could have possibly <laughs> happened? We were at, we were was... at a reasonable volume this time. If anything, yeah, it's on your, you. It's on you. Lower your lower your yeah. shit. Except uh, I think I, I think I left the alerts on. I am using a mouse. Oh, I hit a I hit the wrong button. <laughs> there you go. Anyway, hello today. Uh, welcome, welcome everybody. Settle down today. We're going through all of the best Black Friday uh, and Cyber Monday. I mean, it's weird. Black Friday has technically already started in a lot of places. Okay. So it's just like the holiday shopping season in November, I guess you can call it. Okay. There's also apparently like a Wednesday one, like a, it's got, and that has a color. A Wednesday one. It's like this Black, Wednesday? Black Friday, Cyber Monday, and then that Wednesday. Brown like, Wednesday. I think it's like Topaz. It's a stupid color. Topaz. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. I'm not making that up. We're not celebrating that here. No. Uh, Mordo Prime, thanks for the subscription. Uh, Sam Wise, thanks for the Prime. And Blackbird, thanks for the 11 months. Happy early Turkey Day, Wolf Bros. Thanks, Thank dude. you. Uh, glad to see the Wolf Den Bros live for once. Hello. Welcome to the live we're here. Yes. And we are kind of going into these Black Friday deals blind. Yeah. I know a couple we of usually them. usually do. Um, some, of, some of them I know about. And most of the stores are going to have the same deals across the board. Mm -hmm. But I know like Best Buy has like a different price for some things than Target does and so forth and so on. Right. So that's I, I know the biggest deal is the Xbox Series S. I mean, that's the one that I know about so far did you see what was happening at microsoft's instagram store no but we hate well let's okay let's get there should okay. we start with that well we could start with it but okay. it's it's real quick so as everybody knows or if you don't know the only video game system that is currently being discounted this black friday is the xbox series s it is selling for 250 dollars, which is 50 dollars off its normal price the Microsoft Store on Instagram, however, is selling the Series S for a hundred dollars off. Wait, wait, wait. What is the Microsoft Store on Instagram? Is it, is it literally at Microsoft Store? Yes. Okay. But it is through like the Instagram shop. You know how there's like the Facebook Marketplace? Yeah. There's an Instagram Marketplace, and you can buy things from Instagram. You can buy things from certain retailers through Instagram. Can I? I don't understand it, how it, to it do work, that. It works better on the phone. Okay, yeah. unwrap next gen gaming. Uh, uh, unwrap unparalleled comfort and control. Oh, that's the core uh, elite controller. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't think it works on desktop at all. No. So it'll say it'll say um, on sale for twenty percent off, but that's a hundred dollars off the original price. Holy hell! So that's the best. That's the best Series S. Yeah, yeah. Because that, that's two hundred dollars. Well, it gets crazier. Oh, does it now? Because they had the same deal for the Series X. I got to see this. It sold phone. out, uh, so it might not show up. But I looked at it before. I had it in my cart. Oh. Yeah. So check, check. If you're looking for a Series X, check Instagram. Make sure it's on your phones and you live in the U.S. Um, and check the Microsoft Store on Instagram. Uh, keep refreshing because they may have the Series X in stock for... Three ninety nine. It'll appear in your cart at checkout. Microsoft España. That's not the one I want. <laughs> I want. I want the one I could read. Yeah. Why? Oh, this, I hate Instagram. Do you want me to just? I'm like an old man with. Do you Instagram. want me to just DM it to you? Yeah. Wait. Wait. Hold on. Microsoft Store. Okay. Here. This has a shopping tag. Yeah. And then I click this. I click the store. Twenty. Here's twenty percent off from Instagram. Thanks. Uh. Can I see more products? I just sent you the Series S. Oh, you sent me the straight up Series. Oh, yeah. There she is. There she. Is. It's see, it's two fifty. Twenty percent right. off from Instagram at but, checkout. Yeah, add it to your cart and then go to checkout, and it'll lower your lower the price to two hundred dollars. Yes. Or is it 
twenty percent off of this price. Uh, it, I can't do math. Twenty percent off of this it'll price be, is it'll $200. be two hundred dollars. Yes. All right. All yes. right. That's great. Is yeah. there is there <laughs> any deal on the elite controllers? Not that I know of. The camo controller is only fifty. Yeah, that's nice. I know regular controllers are like going on sale on Black Friday for like forty bucks, both Sony and Place and uh Microsoft. Okay. The core is one hundred and thirty, and then it says twenty percent off from Instagram at checkout. Oh, the so, core elite controller. So that might be an Instagram thing, uh, Microsoft Store Instagram thing. That is great news. Yeah, because I think that's a great controller. Yeah. And then you can get the uh, back paddles separately. later. Yeah. Yeah, you get them separately. Uh, Wolf Den Dad says, I thought Santa brings the video games. Uh, I hate to break it to you, Dad. I hate to break it to you, but we've been buying you the video games <laughs> that's all the time. How about checking out Wolf Den merch for your holiday shopping needs? Oh, that's a good That's a good, good point. Oh, Dad. That's looking Thanks at him. Thanks so much for Finally, being here. you say it enough times and it finally becomes applicable. So you can get a shirt like this over at wolfdenapparel.com. Uh, and this Black Friday, it will be 20% off. Just like the Microsoft store. Just like the mic. Actually, yes. Uh, you can get this. You can get the hoodie. Uh, there's also some Nintendo merch over there at the same store. But who gives a shit? But who gives a shit? We, are, we have a new hoodie coming out this Thursday. That won't be on sale, but you can buy it with all the rest of the stuff. So uh, by the time you listen to this, there might be a sale over at wolfdenapparel.com. There you and it's go. going to be the cheapest you will ever get that stuff because... Mm -hmm. uh, that it's usually it's gone it's gone and yeah. I, I don't restock it. um anyway that's cool i i i guess maybe the store might have a deal on actual elite controllers uh i didn't see it here but that would be cool yeah. if they did that uh but the core is still cool that's a good that, yeah. that means it's and a way like to get a hundred dollar controller that's like you said it's a good starting point if you want to get the back paddles later you just always get the back paddles later yeah and still you still get the adjustable uh uh you still get the the app that's on the website that you yeah. can adjust the controller with you can still adjust the triggers mm -hmm. uh, the, the height of the triggers which yeah. is incredible um what else can you do you can change the color of the xbox jewel logo Ooh. you can do it with the leds yeah uh and and the triggers and, and the thumbstick sensitivity and all that stuff you can remap stuff it's very good it's yes. a very good control yes, even yes, the yes. core so top place to get an xbox series s i guess is the microsoft series. yes uh we always usually start with best buy don't we yeah because they're probably like the store most people are gonna aside from amazon but like yeah. it's always sucks like trying to find like the deals on amazon mm -hmm. so We'll start with Best Buy. We'll start with Best Buy. Now, I don't have the uh, games up yet. Uh, I think Best Buy is a great place to get a TV. Yes. No, and, it is. And they have an Insignia Smart TV. Now, Insignia is usually not the one I would go Insignia with. Insignia is their house brand, yes. I usually not go with Insignia. Yeah. But $80. You can't beat It's that. only a 24-inch TV. <laughs> But eighty dollars. That's good for like your your snotty kid, it, and like you need to get him a TV. Your snotty kid, throw it in the kitchen. Yeah. Put it vertical next to your PC. Your, you know, your grandma who I, just I take wants I take watch your stories. I take everything back. It's seven twenty p. No, no, that's good if like you're a retro gamer and you okay. want to hook up your system so. Because those will usually scale to 720p better than they do 1080 or 4K. Uh, I'm, I'm listen. I'm sorry, honey. I gotta disable you right now. You're not. You're not helpful. <laughs> uh, I, so if you want the 1080p version, it is 120 dollars, which is still not still not bad. Still not bad. Uh, I don't. I haven't looked too hard to see any other TVs. There's a 200 dollar TCL TV. Oh, it's 4K. 200 dollars. There you go. How, How big, big is this thing? Everything's got to take a thousand years to load. 55 yeah. inches. That's, That's pretty good. good. That's the size of the TV I have in my living room. Yeah. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of ways to... to oh, my God. It's Google TV. That's the smart TV platform. Yes. And you can change it to Roku for $230 more. <laughs> I'd rather have the Google. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, there's not a lot of ways to like test stuff to... 
make sure that it's not gonna have a lot of input lag i've had yeah. some input lag issues with some tvs lately. really I, I don't know if it's because i'm so used to playing on gaming monitors well i think with tvs it's always important to switch it to game mode because mm -hmm. that does reduce input lag significantly right that's um, true that's a good point also like it sucks nowadays but like you do have to like calibrate your tvs with your video game systems even like a ps4 and an xbox one you know right. you have to like and at least the xbox one has like you know calibration tools built in to like you know make sure the colors are right make sure the frame rate's right you have the right hdmi cables which is hate that that's the case but um yeah i'm just i'm just changing something should note if on the subject of tvs uh you probably have heard us talk about it on this show the black friday special tvs oh yeah those are so manufacturers will make tvs specifically for black friday they're usually made of cheaper material they don't have as many features like this tcl one uh, they, is have, black they friday have fewer special. hdmi ports which you know, don't think is a big deal but it, it becomes one very quickly um but that being said it's usually they're usually good enough like i have a black friday special tv i it's as well and you know what? I think it's this one. <laughs> this Samsung, it's a 60 inch. I think mine's 65. Okay. Uh, well, they have a 65. Let's see if that's on sale. Uh, 60, it is, oh, it's cheaper. This, okay. I'm pretty, I'm almost positive this is the exact TV that I have. Okay. Uh, 65 inches, Samsung, uh, $447. It's a it's a, U, uh, a, a 4K, and I didn't, I don't feel any input lag when I'm playing yeah. on this. Uh, so this one's pretty good. I had it for a little, I had it for around a year, mm -hmm. uh, back in 2019. I had it for about a year. So it was 2020. It got a dead pixel line. Yeah. Uh, and that's, uh, you know, normal because it's a black Friday special. Samsung came to my apartment in the middle <laughs> of the pandemic and replaced the panel. Wow. And I still have it and it's still fine. And it's in my living room right now. So my black Friday special is an LG. It's the one that's in the living room. Um, and you know, it has Wi-Fi in it because all TVs have Wi-Fi in it, but, uh, sometime this year, the Wi-Fi just cut out. It doesn't work anymore. Okay. Apparently cause there's a, there's a flaw in the design of LG's Black Friday TVs where the mm. antenna starts to sag over time. So to fix it, oh, the, you, the Wi-Fi antenna. Yeah. So okay. to fix it, you literally have to open the back panel and straighten it out. <laughs> <laughs> That's that's crazy. I'm not doing that. I'll just use my Apple TV. That's I, I don't trust smart TV platforms. Yeah. I'd rather just use a Chromecast. So that's yeah. what I do. Yeah, no, it, I mean the, the convenience is there, but like just just use a a set top box or a stick or something. I'm a little annoyed because a lot of the rooms in this house have that situation where it's got the outlet up like really high. Okay. But it's too high. Yeah. Can't put a TV all the way up there. And uh, they didn't leave a thing for an HDMI cable. No. Oh. But in the living room, I think we're just going to put a Chromecast, and that plugs in right in the yeah. outlet anyway. Yeah, I just want to be able to plug a console, too, so I might have to Yeah. I might have to do something, and that's going to be annoying. Yeah. Projects. Projects. Uh, anyway, this was the TV that I had. Uh, I, I'd recommend it. I think it was pretty good for what it is. Uh, it's very cheap for a 4K yeah. TV. Uh, it should be old by now, though. I had it for... I mean, this might be the newer version. I don't right. know exactly the version that I had. Uh, I could probably log in and find out. Anyway, what page does the actual gaming deal start? 29. 29. Here we go. And you're going to see a lot of the same deals across all yes. these different uh, uh, websites. So there's your Xbox Series S for 250 bucks. Yes. Uh, what else do we got here? uh starting on the next page are madden all 23 dad 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 football uh on the next page are all the uh you can see more of the deals like uh halo infinite is 20 dollars damn uh i should note that's 10 dollars cheaper than microsoft's currently selling it on the xbox storefront to that's, download digitally that's kind of really sad i mean it's been a year it's been a year i don't think it's that sad honestly yeah, but this is supposed to be like a big time. Oh, also, it's free. It's a free game. It's on game. game Pass, yeah. Uh, well, and also the multiplayer is free. Yeah. So it's not that big of a deal, I guess. Yeah. Uh, $35 for Forza Horizon 5. That's Forza Horizon 5 is incredible. Yeah. I like that game a lot. Uh, Why are there no prices on this thing? It's like, say, they're telling you save whatever 
on some of these. The uh, you can see the controller is start at forty dollars, which is a twenty dollar discount. Start at forty dollars. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I sometimes see. Sometimes the see. different color ones are like ten dollars more. Some bullshit. Right. 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 But still, forty dollars for an Xbox controller, which is what they should cost all the time. Right. Red Dead Redemption Two twenty bucks. That's good. Damn. Uh, Grand Theft Auto Collection twenty bucks. This is all for Xbox for some reason. Uh, currently yes. Uh, there's one PlayStation Five game here that's uh, Saints Row. Yeah, for thirty five. I mean, it's probably the same on Xbox. True. Uh, Gotham Knights forty bucks. So if you were waiting to buy that game, maybe keep waiting. There's a lot of new. <laughs> there's a lot of new games that are yes. uh, on sale. Yeah, that's always surprising. I saw uh, Sonic Forces. We might see it here. Yeah, but I saw it for uh, for very cheap. Yeah, makes me so happy. I bought that on launch day. Uh, have you played it? I have. Did we talk about it? We did not talk about it. Do you like it? I like what I played so far. Right. How long have you played? Not very long. I haven't either. All right. What did you think? I want to play more of it. Right. Uh, I like it. I'm a little disappointed because I feel like, uh, as somebody who's played a lot of the 3D stuff, like, and a big fan of Adventure Two. I want the Adventure 2 mechanics. Right. And the buttons are all different. It is. The, yeah. The fact that home, homing attack is now a separate button than just That's double very jump. Annoying. That confuses me to no end. And it's clunk. It's a lot clunkier. It doesn't feel it, it, smooth, as smooth. As, it is clunk. It's very clunky. I remember fighting one of the big Colossus bosses. Yeah. And like it kept hitting me even though I couldn't see it hit me. Um, I fought that boss twice within mm. the span of an hour. So I can understand like the, some of the reviews saying it gets repetitive fast. Yeah. But I'm digging it. I dig the open world. I dig open zone. Sorry. I dig like, you know, the way they set it up and the traversal mechanics. I dig, yeah. you know, the the classic Sonic levels, the way they're integrated and stuff. Some of the mini games and like side quests are kind of dumb, yeah. but that's every video game is dumb mini games. I was hoping that the traversal mechanics would be smooth. Like, like, like I was hoping the movement mechanics would be smooth enough where it's fun to just traverse the landscape. Yeah. And because the buttons are so different than it is in a game like Sonic Adventure 2, I feel like I don't have it down. Mm -hmm. But also, I feel like if I even got it down, it still wouldn't be a smooth. It still wouldn't be smooth. I don't know. I didn't find it to be like you know, unsmooth or anything. I just found it's really hard because we've been playing Sonic games for Apparently, 30 years. Apparently, one of us keeps calling it Forces. It's probably me. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's Frontiers. We're talking yeah. about Frontiers. I mean, we've been playing Sonic games for 30 years. So, like, we're having to rewire our brain to, like, yeah. figure out this new fangled open zone Sonic game. So, that's been, that's been tough. That's been, like, probably the toughest part for me is trying to figure out, you know, how to play this new style of Sonic. Yeah. But, yeah, it... it, it and I tried to change the control scheme, and it's it's not just that the buttons are in different spots; it's the buttons work in different ways, and, yeah. and some moves are doubled up on weird buttons. Yeah. So that's what's freaking me out. Yeah. Um. Anyway, let's get back to Black Friday. Yes. Uh, we have a one terabyte storage device for the Xbox Series X and S for two hundred dollars. Okay. So. Is that not good? No, it's good. It's just it's a shame that two hundred dollars is a good price for it. <laughs> you know? You're right. That shouldn't be a thing you have to get. Uh, yeah, but I mean, unfortunately, it is. Like, yeah. I understand, you know, the fact that they created like a simple, easy to use device that you just plug in and yeah. it works, as opposed to Sony, where you have to get a specific M.2 drive and you have to make sure it's got all these specs and you got to make sure like it, it's got a heat sink or it doesn't need I, a heat I wish sink and you got to install it yourself in a really convoluted way. I wish it was more like the uh, Xbox 360, uh, this, this was the second generation version called the last generation version, the E. E, yeah. 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 I, I wish it was that because it was just like that because that was just. A laptop hard drive inside an enclosure, and you can yeah. just get the enclosure. I mean, it wasn't an official thing, but you right. can just get the enclosure and shove something in there. Yeah, I wish they would make something like that for this, where yeah. you, where you just get an enclosure. I mean, maybe there is. I haven't looked that far into it. It's probably well, just an M.2 drive that's in an enclosure. Well, they make a big deal about how, how it integrates with the velocity architecture, so there's probably mm -hmm. like custom firmware on it or like a specific mm -hmm. chipset that you need to use and stuff. 
Right. You know, I appreciate the simplicity and the ease of use, but I don't appreciate the fact that, you know, it's $200. Yes. <laughs> for a memory card. There's also, there's a lot of Xbox stuff here. The yeah. fridge is on sale, but that's not the best sale I've seen. I've seen it for <laughs> as little as, I think, $70. Okay. I also was this close, but <laughs> I heard it's a really shitty fridge. Like, I would imagine so. Like, I think if it, I think in the instructions, it says it's not supposed to be on for more than 12 hours. Or else it freezes everything in it. Yeah. So, okay. So uh, you have to like, you put it on one of those like tree timers. I almost yeah. did, I was like I put it a tree timer and, be fine. <laughs> and then I was like no it can only no. hold like four cans we're not doing yeah. it. Nintendo Switch Black Friday. There you go. Guess, Our... Take a guess what the deal is this Black Friday for like the tenth year in a row. You can get a Nintendo Switch bundled with Mario Kart Eight Deluxe. Yay! The the regular ass switch, not the OLED, not the Switch Lite, the regular ass switch with Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. I am Puddle Glum says, is this the launch switch? Actually, no. It's the one with the better battery. It's the one with the better battery. However, it is still the standard switch. Yes. Uh, so this isn't a deal. Well, I mean, it's a little bit of a deal. It's a little bit of a deal. You get Mario Kart 8 for free, basically. You get the best selling game on the system for free. Yes. I mean, if you're getting a Switch for somebody, they should get Mario Kart 8. Yes. It's a good little yes. bundle. It's to, a good starter give. pack. I just don't know how, you know, how many people who don't already have a Switch, you know, in Mario Kart, you know. Yeah. Give us an OLED bundle. Yeah. Because even if you have a Switch, maybe you want an upgrade. Yeah. It's been a while. Yeah. Like if they did, if, if they did like a Tears of the Kingdom bundle in an yeah. OLED Switch for the holidays, you know. Or even would... just Mario Kart 8 with the freaking OLED. True. Just freaking do something yeah like up this has been the same bundle for so, four years yeah come on anyway uh, uh 20 20 dollars off first party nintendo games that's good because those games were really go on sale yeah i mean i've seen zelda on this i think it was on there <laughs> last year yeah i see it come up every once in a while uh we got amiibos we got random games random assortment of games I can barely uh, read any of these. Oh, this is this is good for you. Pick up a physical copy of Mario Mario and Rabbit Sparks of Hope and get a free digital copy of uh, Kingdom Battle, the first one. That's really cool. They gave away Kingdom Battle, or they let you preview it or something with the with the with the with Nintendo Switch Online for like a weekend. Or oh something. yeah, that's right. I hear that game sucks, actually, though. Really? I hear that the new one is not good. And I, I think see, I only I, heard it from Wood, but he really likes those games. So. I, see, I heard the exact opposite. I heard that it's actually better than the first one. Even if you hated the first one, you would like wow. this one. Yeah. I heard the exact opposite. All right. Uh, here's Forces. Uh, 40 bucks. Frontiers. God damn it. <laughs> And the Cowabunga Collection, 25 bucks. There I you might, go. I might pick that up. I might pick it up, too. I was going to get it digitally, but, you know, 25 I did not get that one. Uh, what else do we got? We'll try not to repeat these same deals yeah. because a lot of them are going to be across the board. But we'll also try to find which one has the better deals. Yes. That's the whole reason we do this. There's uh, Gotham Knights for 40 bucks. Yep. Uh, Sony, save up to 40 Was it $40 on select games? What is, That's a lot. $40. What is Elden Ring? Uh, uh, Elden Ring is $20 off. Oh, okay. That's good. There 40 go. bucks. 40 yeah. bucks for Elden Ring. Do that on Steam, man. I want to play that on the <laughs> Steam Deck. Oh, you can I, oh, you can get up to 50% off arcade games. Let's go, Ooh, baby. Hell yeah. Oh god, I hate the, I hate how it opens up the website. <laughs> up to 50%. Oh, you can get that Terminator 2 with the two guns. Like like we're at a fucking they have, Nathan's. They made Ridge Race Nathan's. <laughs> <laughs> they made Ridge Racer? Did they? Apparently, Arcade One Up did a Ridge Racer. Oh wow, it's three hundred bucks. That's right, pretty that's good. That's pretty good. Simpsons three hundred bucks. Will oh man, make some room. <laughs> Sorry, honey. Ms. Pac Man is five hundred no, four hundred and fifty dollars. That's a lot. Yeah, Turtles and Times four hundred fifty. That's the one I would want. This one's kind of cool. Thirty two Infinity Game Table. What what is what is that? It's kind of sleek looking. That'd be a cool podcasting table. <laughs> what does it have in it? Oh, it's the hell? It's got Scrabble? Get out. Get the hell out of here. Yeah, there's a lot. That, I guess they have a lot of good arcade yeah. games. So if you want some arcade one up, this ain't, ain't a bad deal. 
Uh, is that it? We're, we're, yeah, we're at the it. end. Yep. Of, we're at the end of gaming here. All right. All right. Uh, that's it for Best Buy. We're going to try to see if anybody else has anything better. Mm-hmm. Uh, or may, uh, I feel like a lot's going to be the same. Uh, oh, the, Best Buy has the Series S for $250. Well, every store has the Series S for $250. Right. But, but this Target. was the first deal that I saw that I thought was the best one. Right. Uh, we're on target now. We're on target. We're right on target. $250, but you get a $50 gift card. That's good. That's pretty good. Yeah. So you get your Series S and then you can get a game. You're going to get a game. So it's, you might as well just ring it up separate. Yeah. Use your $50 gift card. Of course, please remember that a Series S does not have a disc drive. (laughs) Oh, yes. So So don't buy a game. Well, you can buy digital games at Target. Either buy a digital game or get yourself some Microsoft Store monies. Yes. Uh, Or or Game Pass or something. Yeah. And they have an Element Smart TV. I think that's their house brand. $30, 65 their house brand? Don't buy a house brand TV. Don't do that to yourself. Yeah, try try not to. Uh, do we know what page the games start on? Uh, four. Four. Yeah. Here we are. Mario Party Superstars, 30 bucks. Select Nintendo Switch games uh, shown. This is this was that $20 off or $30 off, whatever the hell it is, that Best Buy also had. Did they have it on Breath of the Wild? I thought Breath yeah. of the Wild was 40. No, Breath of, they had it on Breath of the Wild. Is 30 for Breath of the Wild? Pretty I've sure. seen Breath of the Wild be 40 before, and I think that's what I saw at Best nah, Buy. I just got to go back to Best Buy. But... 30 is great for Breath of the Wild. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's also great for Mario Party Superstars. I think Mario Party's stupid, but <laughs> I mean, no, it is. if you like playing Mario Party with friends, if you like, if you hate yourself that much, give it a shot. Yo, Mario Kart Live for 60 bucks? That's not bad. Oh, it's uh, Best Buy. It's $40 uh, <laughs> Breath of the Wild. That's what I thought. Yeah. That's what I thought. Ooh, the Cowabunga Collection is $20 at Target. Ooh. Uh, sorry, I, I'm on the next page already. That's fine. Uh, I also hold on. Somebody in the chat, <clears throat> Will Masse says, "FY, you can't use the gift cards to buy other gift cards. Typically, you can at Target, though. Check with your local Target associate to make sure you can do that. <laughs> yeah, you might get in trouble. Yeah, I've I've had I've it's been hit or miss for me. I, yeah. I like to take the Visa gift cards and turn them into Amazon gift cards. Yeah, and only one time have I ever had a problem. Yeah, that. I've gotten in trouble. For but, that. but I'm yeah. like, why not? And then they're like, you can't do it. And I'm like, I do it all the time. And they're like, yeah. no, you can't. It's possible. They just don't want you to do it. So I learned on Amazon, you can use your Amazon credit card points to buy an Amazon gift card, but you cannot use your Amazon credit card points to buy a digital item. That's stupid. Yeah, because I was going to buy... It was Cyberpunk. I wanted to buy Cyberpunk mm-hmm. with my credit card points, but it said no. So I bought a gift card and used it. But, That's yeah. so stupid. I mean, I know there's like scams and stuff. Yeah. We've had to deal with those people when we worked retail. But mm-hmm. you, but like, you know, I'm just trying to get some Amazon points. Yeah. It's not like I'm trying to get the cash out of you. Yeah. Whatever. Uh, 20 bucks. Games each... Sale each game's shown. Oh yeah, Halo was twenty bucks at Best Buy. Yes. Okay. Uh, I think Best Buy it comes with the Steel Book as well, because oh. like you get the game and the Steel Book. But like, who gives a shit? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Spider Man PS4. That's great. Yeah. Uh, I'm. Yeah, I kind of want the Cowabunga Collection. <laughs> yeah. I might do that. Yeah. Twenty bucks, not bad. What's LOL? Oh, uh, what the hell is that game? LOL Surprise. Okay. Yeah, that's like a that's like a kids thing. I'm probably gonna have to know about in the future. <laughs> It takes two is thirty bucks. That's good. Yeah, that's a very good game. Mm-hmm. That came out for the Switch this year. Persona Five. Are you kidding me? Persona Five is thirty bucks. <laughs> wow, that's kind of crazy. I wonder if that's going to be on Steam for thirty bucks. Yeah, because uh, that's where I want it. <clears throat> Somebody make a list. Somebody make a list of the games that Bob wants. <laughs> I, Bob wants the Cowabunga Collection from Target and possibly Persona Five from Target. Uh, may, take notes. Sonic Frontiers again, 30, uh, 40 bucks. Yep. Uh, Elden Ring, 40 bucks again. Horizon is 35. Horizon it, for uh, uh, PS4. For, Forza Horizon 5, oh. $35. Because Horizon Forbidden West on PS4 is 40 bucks. Right. And that came out this year. I think Horizon, uh, I think Forza Horizon is the same price as it was at Best Buy. Yes. I think. Yes. 
Uh, Jedi Fallen Order, 10 bucks. Get it. Get I it. I think I got it for Steam for a similar price. Yeah, that's... Uh, GTA 5 uh, for 15 bucks. Okay. So if you've never played GTA 5, now is your chance. Uh, ooh, I'm on the next page. Uh, Logitech mouse, 35 bucks is not bad. Uh, Backbone controller for the phone. You have the PlayStation version and the Xbox version. Both are 75 bucks, and that's pretty okay. good. Um, I kind of want that PlayStation version. DualSense controllers for, for PS5 are 50 bucks. That's a good deal. Um, the black one, too. Xbox controllers for 45 bucks. That's more than it was at Best Buy. More? It was yeah. 40 at Best Buy? Yeah. Oh, um, mm. shit. I'd still suggest get, get, spending that money and getting that core. Yeah. If you're going to get an Xbox controller anyway. Oh, next page. BOGO. Buy one, get one 50% off select gaming gift cards. Ooh, Ooh, so all right. Black Friday is a great time to load up on credit for your digital store for yes. Also, uh, the uh, Game Pass and all that stuff. Yes. Should have checked Best Buy for, ga- for Game Pass. Yeah. Um, well, speaking of Game Pass, I mean, this isn't a deal, but they're advertising the uh, Xbox Ser- the Xbox All Access, which is the Series X and Game Pass Ultimate mm-hmm. uh, for $34 a month for 24 months. Okay. They're advertising that. So that means that they're going to have it in stock for a limited time <laughs> at the very least. <laughs> okay. 24 months. Yeah. Whoever is making the list for me of the games that I want, also make a note. Cancel your PlayStation Plus Premium because I still pay for that and I fucking never use it. I got to renew mine. At the end of the month, mm. and um, I got to make sure I get the deal that's happening because if you get it from Sony, it's like twenty dollars off mm. right now for Black Friday. So I see here, uh, Oculus. Yes, includes Beat Saber and Resident Evil Four. Yes, it's the Ocu- It's the MetaQuest Two, the one hundred twenty eight gig version. Yeah, and it's. It's all, it's usually four hundred dollars. It's on sale for three hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah, which is still too much money. Uh huh. But it does come with Resident Evil Four and Beat Saber. Yes, so that's not bad. Probably two of the best games you can play on Oculus right now. Yes. Uh, I think what do I have? The sixty four gig. I think that so. one was three hundred. Yeah. I Whatever I have was three hundred. <laughs> Bless you. Ugh. And uh, yeah. So I guess fit, I don't know if this is a good deal. Yeah. I can't. Um, I can't they also have it's five hundred and sixty dollars, but it's the PS Five God of War Ragnarok bundle. Uh, a lot of stores are going to be advertising that. Uh, oh, that, that's not a sale because it's the price of a PS5 and the price of a game. How much but is it? Hundred, uh, five hundred and sixty. Okay, so it's technically ten dollars off. Technically, so that's not that bad. If yeah. you're gonna, if you were gonna get a PS5 and you want God of War Ragnarok, I mean, yeah. So uh, th- I, I feel like this year it shouldn't be too hard to find a PS5. Or an Xbox Series X if you really wanted one. It should be easier than it has been. Yes. Yeah. I will say that if you really, really want one, you should probably be able to get one. Yeah. Just put a little effort into it and then you'll and you'll find one. Mm-hmm. Uh, anyway, Target also has some deals on some TVs, like 50-inch Samsung yeah. for 300 bucks. That's not bad. 55-inch, mm-hmm. 350 bucks. I, I, I like a good Samsung. You have LG. I also think I Kevin, have a Samsung in the basement. I think Kevin Kenson likes LGs better yeah. than Samsungs. I always just went with Samsungs for some reason. I mean, those LG and Samsung are usually like the top tier. Sony's make excellent TVs, but they're also ridiculously fucking expensive. So yeah, and also there's some weird problems with them sometimes. Like yeah. sometimes they're not the best for gaming, even yeah. though they make the PS5. Yeah. <laughs> this is interesting. Free Chromecast when you buy. Wait, hold on. Free ten dollar gift card there when you, you buy two Google there Chromecasts go. with Google TV. Twenty dollars? Does that mean a Chromecast is twenty dollars? Oh wow! I guess. And then you get a ten dollar gift card. Yeah, I'm gonna do that because I go. want one upstairs. Is, is it four K though? Mm, oh, probably. Because I have the not. ultra one. I have the ultra one in the in the yeah. living room. I want one in the in, in the bedroom. Do you want the Chromecast that came with my uh, Stadia? Oh yeah, because I'm That's not gonna. Ultra. I'm not gonna use that. Give thing me that. Ever. Also, where's my second Stadia? I got a second one. <laughs> Where the fuck is that? 
I don't know. I might have it. I got to look around. All right. That's, I'm going to keep the rough. Stadia controller because that belongs in a museum. And it's great. Yeah. It's a great controller. Anyway, I think that I think we're I think we're done with uh yeah. Ooh, there's a cool uh thirty percent off what of what page uh, are you on? I'm all the way I'm all the way on twelve. Okay. There's a cool thirty percent off of a of a TV mount. I'm gonna need uh, another TV mount. So that ten dollar uh gift card is when you buy two Chromecasts. Oh well I don't need two and they gotta be four K. <laughs> okay. Uh don't cheap out on a uh TV mount. No. Let's let's maybe not get a Black Friday special TV mount. <laughs> anyway, uh, I want to read some notifications real quick. Okay. So we've been at this for a hot minute. Yep. And Dark Type over here gave us a thousand bits, which Ooh, is a lot of bits. Yeah. He said, "Hey guys, as someone who is looking to find an Xbox Series S for Black Friday, what what have your experiences been with the new Xbox? By the way, I would be new to Xbox ecosystem. Keep up the great work. I love the Series S. I think it's fucking awesome." I think it's getting a bad rap right now because people are blaming it for holding back the whole generation. And yeah. I think that's a little bit of a cop out. That but is very I'd much like a cop to out. actually talk to like a developer about it. Yeah. Because <laughs> um, I really want to know. I, I keep saying this, but when, when the generation was introduced, Microsoft tried to make it seem like the only difference is that the games will run at 1440p. Yeah. You know? Uh, I mean, it does have weaker. Uh, specs lower specs than a series right. x but, by design to make it more affordable right. to people but it still has a lot of like the ne- the necessary specs to keep it up to speed with the the main system my interpretation was that uh the architecture was built as such that uh it's gonna run exactly the same mm-hmm. it's just gonna run at a lower resolution that was my interpretation so I, 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 I don't, I'm not a developer, so I don't know exactly yeah. how it works. But anyway, Dark Type, you should get it from the Microsoft Store. If you can. If you can. Otherwise, get it from Target because you get that $50. I'm sorry. The Microsoft Instagram Store. Yes. If you buy it through Very Instagram, specific. it's $200, yes. period, full out. And that's great. But if you can't find that, Target will give you a $50 gift card, mm-hmm. which makes it about the same price. Yeah. And also, thank you, Dark Type, for gifting five subs. And thank you, Strong One, for the prime. All right. Uh, next up, we are on to Walmart. Yes. All right. Uh, what page are we three. going to? Three. Yes. Also, uh, Walmart has TCL, 65 inch for $228. There you go. It's a 4K, mm-hmm. uh, 65 inch TV. Uh, again, I don't know how TCLs are with like input lag. I'm very... I'm a, I'm scared of input lag now on on TVs. I I mean I know a lot of people get TCLs mm-hmm. because they are some of the more affordable TVs out there and they output decent picture and sound. Okay. So I don't think most people complain about them except for like you know your your typical you know tech reviewer or tech blogger people like them who will you know who see high end TVs all the right. time and can tell the difference. I'm considering getting a TV for here to put above everything so we could see things better. You know, it's not a bad idea. Uh, also on in on a TV O N N fifty that, fifty inch uh, one hundred and forty eight dollars. That's Walmart's house brand. All right, and I no I, shot that's going to be. Anything. I I don't want to say they're good. I've seen people defend like some of their other mm. stuff, like their PCs and stuff, but I, I wouldn't mess with that. Okay. How would I put a TV above that monitor? Uh, it would have to go behind it. Yeah. You know? It would block... Like, how big of a TV are we talking here? Like a 50-inch? Maybe even smaller? I mean, a 40-inch, you could probably just put above it. No problem. Yeah. Well, how would you How would you do it? There's a window there. I know. You'd have to get like a, an arm mount and mount, it, mount the arm to the ceiling mm-hmm. and have it down. Mm-hmm. All right, we'll we'll cross this page yeah. later. Uh, anyway, what page is the gaming on? Uh, three, three, boop. Here we go. God of War Ragnarok, same price, same price. I mean the the bundle yeah. thing. Uh, yeah, the same. Everything. Everything's the same. The same. Click for la- latest price on the Xbox Series X, five hundred dollars. Okay, there you thanks, go. Dude, thanks Walmart. Uh, they do the same thing with Call of Duty Modern Warfare Two, the Code Edition. Gotham Knights, thirty five bucks. That's the cheapest, I think, right? Yeah. Yeah, 35 bucks, yeah. not bad. 
So if you want to keep waiting. Uh, also Madden, twenty three thirty five bucks. Yeah. Uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare Two. Click for latest price, fifty five. Not bad. Not bad. For a PS five game. Yeah. That's usually seventy. Yeah. I do want that, but I want it on PC. I'm a PC <laughs> asshole now. Right. Dual Sense controller, fifty bucks, but I don't think there's a black one. I think it's just the. I think it's just the white oh, one. Oh no. Every color. There you go. Every color. Is Every also, color. Even they... the camo. There you go. Damn. Okay. Not bad. Uh, Breath of the Wild, thirty bucks. That's uh, the cheapest. By like yes, no, bucks. it is. It is. You are right. Walmart's got Breath of the Wild for the cheapest, and it's got a bonus. What's his bonus? What is the bonus? Bonus nothing. This picture okay. says it has a bonus something, <laughs> but then you click on it and it has a bonus. Oh, nothing. I think that's just a picture of the website uses. Oh. Oh yeah, we're 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 strolling blackfriday.com if you want to follow along. Yeah. Home. <laughs> um oh what did I just see? The Skywalker saga, Lego Star Wars the Skywalker saga, 35 bucks. That's a good That's deal. Good. Mario Party Superstar 30 bucks. That's another best deal. Yeah. Death Stranding 20 bucks. There you go. Come on. That's good. That's for PS4. Yeah. Uh <coughs> Elden Ring 35. That's the best deal we've that's, seen for yeah, Elden that's Ring. That's good. That's PS4 though. Mhm. PS4? Yeah, PS4. Oh wow. Okay, so maybe never mind. Yeah. Take it all back. Uh, Xbox controllers, 45? 45. That's not, the, that's best not the best deal. Even though it's the camo one, $5 for a camo is not worth it. Yep. Uh, here we go. Xbox Series S, $250. There you go. Boo. Uh, Halo Infinite, 20 bucks. Ooh, Grand Theft Auto V, $10. But it's the PS4 version. Yeah. Uh, Resident Evil Village, 20 bucks. PS5. We got some good games over yeah. at Walmart. Link's Awakening, thirty bucks. Returnal, thirty-five bucks. I should note that that looks like it's the main Resident Evil Village. They just came out with the Gold Edition, which has all the DLC. Oh, okay. So if you don't care about DLC, then by all means, just get regular ass Resident Evil Village. Fire Emblem Warriors, Three Hopes, thirty-five bucks, and the best deal on Sonic Frontiers <laughs> so far, thirty dollars. There you go. So if you're gonna get the Switch version of Sonic Frontiers, don't. It's the worst version. It is the worst version. What are you you're playing on PC, right? Yeah, I'm playing All on right. PC. I'm playing it on Xbox. Get yeah. it at Walmart. Yeah. Get, get get it seems like Walmart has the best deal on just individual games. And that's yeah. it. That's the, that's everything. That's everything Walmart had. Well, that's every I feel like with these stores, like that's everything they're advertising. But True. like you go to the store and they might have more games for like uh, like good deals on more games. Usually right before Black Friday. Target has uh buy one or uh, buy two get one free on games. What happened with that? They did that a few weeks ago. Oh, yeah, I missed it. Yeah, it's usually the time to load up the backlog. Yeah, just put it in that Excel spreadsheet and never touch it. All right, uh, my dude Jack says, did you see what happened to beat him up on his stream? No, what happened? Is he okay? Is, Is he okay? okay? Do we have to go to Pennsylvania? Do we have to go to Pennsylvania? I was just there. I don't want to go because I took off tomorrow. I, I will if I have to. <laughs> um, now there's a sleeper hit here with the stores. With there's the always stores. there's always our favorite dark horse. Our favorite dark horse, boys and girls, is Coles. <laughs> I'm trying to find the video games. I'm like on page 16 and I'm in betting. Okay. I don't see anything video game specific or I haven't yet. Earn $15 cold cash for every $50 spent. You're going to do that with video games for sure. If they have an Xbox Series X. Yeah. How how much money is that? I can't do math. What's 50 divided by 500? It's 10. So ten, so that's one hundred and fifty dollars. So, yeah, in okay. Cole's cash. Okay, so hold on. Let's... That's a lot of sweatshirts you can buy. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm in active wear right now. Six times fifteen, you get ninety dollars in Cole's cash if you get an S Xbox Series S. Okay, that's still not the best deal. Even with even with Cole's tomfoolery, yeah, still not the best deal. Apparently, Woods' sound broke on Pokemon Scarlet. Okay. Okay. <laughs> what else is new? All right, so we don't have to go to Pennsylvania is what you're telling me? 
I could do that at home. You still haven't found gaming yet? I'm in bras. Okay. <laughs> Hang out there for a minute. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna skip to Amazon while you do that. Okay. Uh, Amazon has not been great recently. No, I've been kind of disappointed with Amazon. They some I think Amazon had a deal with the Series S where it was two hundred and fifty dollars, but you also got a whole S other controller. Was that on Amazon? I think I might be making that up, but I saw that somewhere. Amazon has nothing. Amazon okay. has no. Am, Amazon has no good. They, every year they have, not a good way to show their their latest. Uh, All right, uh, I stuff. found the first video games in Cole's flyer on page fifty eight. Oh my god! It is a Pac Man mini arcade. <laughs> okay, that is, hey, that's not a bad price. Eighty bucks. Eighty bucks. And they have some uh, Victrola. Record players. Record players. Yeah. That's kind of cool. There you go. I think Hannah want a record. Is that a cricket? I want a cricket. Not in real life, in the game. Oh, uh, cricket Explore 3 Essential DIY Starter Bundle. 300 bucks. What are you looking at? I'm looking at Coles. What page? The next page. 59. This thing. Oh, that thing. I want that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send it to Hannah right now. All right. And it's cute. It's like green. <laughs> yep, I'm still going. I'm in housewares. I'm in kitchen. I just I just put on screen my text with Anna. <laughs> and she sent me a fucked up tweet. Oh boy. I'll, I'll, I'm not I'm not putting it. I'm not doing that again. <laughs> oh boy. Uh anyway. We always like say that Coles is the dark horse favorite, but I feel like every year we just get disappointed because we had one good year. Yes, that's true. Okay. All right. So what are Amazon's Black Friday deals? Uh, Amazon's Black Friday deals are nothing. I couldn't find gaming at all. I mean, I feel like with Amazon, you just have to search for what you're looking for and hope it's on sale. Right. They're doing early Black Friday stuff now, which every store is doing early Black Friday stuff now. Yeah. Um. So uh, I I I I think I mean keep an eye on Amazon if you. I mean I always buy stuff on Amazon yeah. first because it's just the easiest and I have Prime. So I mean check it if you want to see what. I mean a lot of these deals like the freaking Nintendo Switch and 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 the. God of War Ragnarok bundle, those things are going to be everywhere. So yeah. you could check Amazon for stuff like that. But if you want the best deal on Sonic Forces, you're going to get yeah. it at uh, a Target. No, 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 Walmart. That was Walmart, yeah. 30 bucks. Uh, what else? The Series S, you're going to want to get that at the Microsoft store mm -hmm. on Instagram for some reason. Uh, what else was there? What else was the best deals? Uh, what do we say? The Cowabunga Collection, $20 at Target? The Cowabunga Collection, yes, was yes. $20 at Target. Mm -hmm. I want to get that. Who who has the list of things that I want to get? <laughs> somebody put it on. So Somebody put it in the chat. I might pick up Halo. Oh, GameStop. We didn't look at GameStop at all. Mm, just like the rest of America. Hey. <laughs> All right, we'll end with GameStop. Oh my God, the GameStop one sucks. Look at, <laughs> look at what BlackFriday.com did. It's literally just a picture of the of the, oh my of God. The thing. Uh, all right, cool. Thirty five bucks for Elden Ring on Xbox. That's a good deal. Yeah, because that's the Series uh, X version, so that's a relatively good deal. Uh, what else? Where's GameStop? I, I I went to the uh, tab on the left of Black Friday. Oh, okay. Yeah, and it was right there. Oh, I got it. I can't. There's like a glare on the picture they took, and I can't <laughs> see the price of the Xbox Fusion controller. Whatever. PS5 consoles available now. That's their deal. Cool. Yeah. Oh, a Plague's Tale Requiem, forty bucks already. There you go. That just came out. Yeah. Spider-Man Miles Morales also forty bucks. That's good. Same deal on the DualSense colored controllers. Uh, 
Save ten dollars on uh, wireless Xbox controllers. That's not a good deal, as not we've a seen. Good deal. Forty bucks for Mario Party and Zelda. That's not a good deal. The mm-hmm. cheapest was Walmart, I think. Yeah. Uh oh, twenty seven ninety nine for the uh, Nintendo Switch little wireless controller, the PDP one. That's oh, good. there you That's go. That's a pretty good controller. Uh, thirty dollars for the Skywalker Saga on Switch. I don't. I think on at Target the sale was for the PS Five version. I'm not sure. Yeah. Oh, they have gaming laptops on sale. Fifty percent off gaming laptops. That's pretty cool. And seventy and save up to seventy dollars on streaming gear. All you streamers out there. Oh, God, uh, that's really it. Everything else is like pop vinyls and stuff. Yeah. Wow, garbage display over at a. Select action figures eighteen ninety nine. That is upsettingly a deal in not, this day and age. Not happy. Not happy with them. Yeah. Could have been better. I mean, that's just GameStop in a nutshell. Not happy with them. Could have been better. <laughs> uh, we will uh, move on. Okay. How about that? Okay. We did what we could here. Yes. We uh, we know where uh, the best deal for games is. It seems like Walmart. Yes. Uh, but having said that, it looks like other stores have their own deals here and there. Just got to be on the lookout. You got to be on the hunt. For, be strategic with your Black yes, Friday shopping. For, 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 for Microsoft hardware, the Microsoft store on Instagram sounds like a, like yeah. a great time. Uh, also, if you find any freaking games at Kohl's, yeah. you get $15 back In for Kohl's every $50 cash. you yeah. spend. So that's actually not a bad deal. Uh, and keep an eye open for uh, deals on uh, the... like. Subscription services. Yes. And load up on those around I, now. I will say, like I said before, uh, well, all the my, uh, Xbox, PlayStation, and Nintendo are having Black Friday deals on their specific eShops. Mm-hmm. And I know uh, Sony is having a sale on PlayStation Plus subscriptions. Right. So. Uh, so, yeah. Though, also, Wario64 on Twitter is a great place yes. for... That's how I found out about the Instagram store. Right. Yeah. So... Follow that account on Twitter for random deals that pop up. Mm-hmm. Uh, put on notifications this Thursday and Friday and Saturday. Uh, and I'm sure you'll get some wacky shit and some weird things that pop up that weren't announced. Yeah. You know? So there you go. We tried to help you get yeah. uh, the, the 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 more bang for your buck this holiday. Also, I'll remind you all that it's not a good deal. If you weren't going to buy it already. Yes. Yes. If if they they might try to tempt you with, you know, oh, if you get two games, you can get like 15% off one of them. But you only wanted the one game. Yeah. So. Yeah. Exactly. So, so you're spending more. So I wasn't going to buy the Cowabunga collection. Yeah. So twenty dollars for the Cowabunga for the Cowabunga collection is a good deal. However, that's twenty dollars away from me that yes. i wouldn't have spent yes. anyway so maybe it's not the best deal <laughs> but i kind of want it slightly off topic but also related to what we're talking about uh amazon now does same day deliveries in our neighborhood yes i uh, i got surprised by that they didn't even freaking do that in brooklyn they uh it's dangerous because i've uh i've had to buy multiple things in order to reach the 35 five dollar threshold uh, and i only wanted one thing is that what well, that's a threshold yeah there's a threshold for prime too yeah i didn't know that yeah, what's the what's the threshold? I have things in my card. I can tell you. I oh, don't, it's twenty five dollars. I don't really care if it's same day. If if I'm getting it from Amazon, it's I don't really. Uh, if, I don't. I also don't trust them because living in Brooklyn, things would get delivered, uh-huh. and then they would say they're delivered, and then they won't show up till the next day. Well, I did it once just to see like how it works, mm-hmm. and it works well. But I had to do it. I had to do a same day because our kids are sick and they were like coughing, so I bought uh, an air purifier. And that that came yeah I bought the, the baby version of that one. <laughs> that is a smaller. Ver- I have a bigger one upstairs. I I have one smaller than that, and it can't showed up like that morning at seven o'clock. Hey Nutty's here. Hello Nutty. Oh, I've hey, seen you Nutty. on YouTube. I uh I I I'm gonna watch your video to see how I can better remote into that computer. That's over there. <laughs> <laughs> He's like a stream guy. Yeah, He's like a stream guy who streams. You know. Ah, all right. One of those streamers. That's a good- that's a good uh, explanation of what he does. Yes. <laughs> anyway, uh, 
Yeah, no, that air purifier is like one of the smart ones. I haven't set it up. Yeah, no, smart I, thing, I was, it's it's literally like maybe like half the size of that, and it's just got one button for low, medium, and high, and off. I mean, that's all you really. It's stupid yeah. to be so. Not everything needs to be smart. I know. You know? Anyway, uh, where do we go from here, Will? Uh, oh, let me read more notifications. Yeah. Like, for example, uh, Battle Tank Bob, who gave us 12 months, a whole year, and said, yo, y'all ever play that Winback 2? The heck? Uh, no. Winback 2? Yeah, I've heard of it. It's a PS2 game. Um, I've heard it's real bad. I didn't um, know it existed. But I kind of want to check it out. <laughs> okay. Yeah uh maybe next time we're at a there there is gonna be uh i don't know if you saw but like long island retro gaming is doing like a festival a, a winter festival games mm-hmm. thing it's literally just the same thing but like it's uh more like a flea market type okay deal. i went to the one last year it was fun but i don't don't want to really want to go this year where but where is it it's at the cradle of aviation again yeah okay. That sounds cool. Yeah. I didn't go last year because I lived in Brooklyn. Yeah. And now it would be easier for me to go. So mm-hmm. maybe I will go. Maybe. It, do you have to pay to get in? Yeah, you pay to get in, but it's all, I think it's only like twenty five bucks to get in. Okay. Only twenty five? I mean, you uh, if you get a good deal on some yeah. stuff, I mean, why not? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, this game does look bad. <laughs> uh, anyway, we also have Chris BX with fifty months. Thank you, Chris BX, and Mecha Dragon with a hundred bits going on. An eight-hour car ride to Canada tomorrow, bros. Oh, God. Oh, God. What's some games you suggest for the long ride ahead of me? Uh, You got a Switch? What do you got? Yeah, what do you, what do you got? Probably a Switch. Point? I'm yeah. going to assume you have a Switch. Uh, Pokemon? Yeah. If, if it's eight hours, you're going to use like a, a game that's good for like long sit-downs. You know, yeah. not like quick burst gaming. You got uh, the new Pokemon even though it's got a lot of technical problems, it's actually not a bad game. Oh, no? No, I actually kind of like it. Okay. Yeah. So uh, I have a whole video about it. It's coming out on Thursday. And also a whole podcast coming out on Thursday <laughs> about it, too. Uh, I Yeah, actually, I've been shitting all over it, and I've been talking about how much I don't like Pokemon anymore, and yeah. they fixed a lot of the issues that I have with Pokemon. Really? They just introduced a lot of technical <laughs> issues. Because um, a friend of mine who hasn't played video games in years, mm-hmm. he just got a Switch, and he's like, I want to play Pokemon. What Pokemon game should I get? And I told him not to get Scarlet and Violet because I heard it was butt. But maybe I should tell him to play it. It performs very badly, right. but the game itself is actually pretty good. Okay. So it's rough. I am an old Pokemon fan. Right. And I did not like Sword and Shield that much. I right. mean, I played through the whole thing. And then at the very end, I was like, was that good? <laughs> so, uh... I'm liking, I mean, I haven't gotten to the end of this one. Maybe I'll feel the same way when I get mm-hmm. to the end of this one. But so far, I've been liking what I've been playing. It's okay. just it's just a lot of lag and technical yeah. issues. So, just not a very pretty game. Uh, Rosie in Intubates says, uh, technical problems like how? I mean, just Google it. There's plenty <laughs> of examples. But the frame rate is horrible. It dips down really low. The camera breaks a lot of different ways. Right. Uh, you can fall through geometry. The game is just butt ugly. Wow. Um, there's a lot of pop in uh, for from random characters. There's T posing and like the cutscenes and stuff. Uh, it's technically atrocious, but uh, the actual gameplay is kind of fun. Nice. Uh, anyway. Let's do some gaming news now. Yes. How about we do what that? What you're usually here for. What you're usually here for. And the top one is the most wild and wacky of the whole <laughs> week. That's right. Yuji Naka reportedly arrested during a Square Enix insider training investigation. That is absolutely insane. Yes. Yuji Naka, the co-creator of Sonic and the more more recent release, Balan Wonderworld, has reportedly been arrested during an ongoing Square Enix insider training investigation. This follows the arrest of Square Enix employees uh, Tasuke uh, Sazaki and Fumike. Did I say that right? Fumiaki. Fumiaki Fumiaki Suzuki. Suzuki. uh, Who allegedly acquired stock in Japanese game development company Aiming prior to the announcement of its new Dragon Quest title on mobile, Dragon Quest Tact. Uh, Sazaki and Suzuki supposedly purchased 47 million yen, about 336,300 US dollars, of stock in developer aiming, Yuji Naka has also been accused of having insider information, purchasing 10,000 shares of aiming stock 
uh, for 2.8 million yen or 20,000 US dollars before the announcement. Square Enix has issued a statement revealing it's working with authorities on the investigation and taking appropriate actions against the suspected employees. We deeply regret the concerns. We deeply regret the concern this has caused all, uh, to all concerned. We have deeply regret <laughs> the concern this has caused to all concerned. That is a translation. Yeah, that is a thing. that is not a great translation. Uh, we have we have dealt with this incident stri- uh, strictly, including internal disciplinary actions taken against the suspected employees. Since the launch of Balan Wonderworld and his departure from Square Enix, Yuji Naka has been involved in a lawsuit case with the Japanese publisher and developer after he was apparently removed from the game as director about a y- about half a year before release. I said before <laughs> this is insane because yes. here in America. Everyone inside of trades, and you just get away with it. You get away with it if you're good enough. Martha Stewart did not get away with it. She actually got thrown in jail. I don't know if it's if you're good enough. It's more so if uh, I feel like you just got to have people that aren't going to throw you under the bus. True. Uh, and in this case, I think Square Enix was not happy with him. No, they, in they, fact, they, they are, fired him off of the Balan Wonder World. Yes, Wonderworld. like there is, like there is already bad blood between Square Enix and Yuji Naka. So I'm sure somebody there was like, "Yo, he was involved in it." Yeah, so he he got thrown under the bus in yeah. some way. I'm sure other people did too, though. He's yeah. probably not the only one. <laughs> uh, but I don't know exactly what it takes to do this level of insider trading i yeah. mean i mean uh, the, the the general definition is just you know when something's gonna happen yeah you have insider information because you work at square enix so mm-hmm. you do a little wheel and deal in the stock market yeah because you're the only one who knows this information uh fucking politicians do it all the yeah. time and they get away yeah. with it all the time mm-hmm. and then and you know people in big business around here do it all the time and get away with it so uh to me i mean this is japan so it's probably way different and way more yeah. strict over there yeah yeah like it should be over here but uh i'm sure that he probably uh he, he's not well liked over at square enix yeah something happened mm-hmm. and uh i don't we don't know i'm waiting yeah. for the uh uh the no pixel documentary about this one <laughs> I just thought that was a wacky wild, yeah, wacky that's, wild that's thing to, to start things off with yep. this week's news. Uh, we'll say a very special thank you to Erebus with four months. Happy four months. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, next news, Nintendo NX boot screen and logo shown off for the first time outside of Nintendo. Yo, can I make this my boot screen for the <coughs> Steam Deck? You probably could. That would be pretty mm-hmm. cool to do. All right. Uh, before the Nintendo Switch was officially named and unveiled as the hybrid, the hybrid system was known as the Nintendo NX. Uh, the name and unveiling of the Nintendo NX console happened on October 20th, 2016, where it was showcased in a snazzy video and named the Nintendo Switch. Fast forward to today and the new Mario Kart 8 Deluxe prototype uh, has found its way online and it it has unveiled the Nintendo NX startup and boot screen. The early logo and boot uh, boot up sequence uh, was created internally during the development of the console, and this is the first time it has been shown outside of Nintendo. Interesting. <clears throat> so I find it surprising that they have a whole boot up screen uh, with the prototype name on it. Yeah. Like why? Like why would you go through all that trouble? Why just not have like a regular boot up screen? They know it's gonna <laughs> be a prototype. Yeah. Uh, this is a GIF of it, so yeah. it's not the highest quality. No, but also, I've, I've seen it elsewhere, and that that's what it is. Also, doesn't look that good. <laughs> also, why is it blue? Like I got a lot of questions. I mean, it's development, so who yeah. really cares? Uh, I think the font is the same. It looks like Gotham it looks like black. It is, yeah. Uh, the X looks upside down. Wait. <laughs> Hold on, I'm freaking. I'm having a stroke right now. Is the X? I don't know. The X looks weird. It's like shorter on the bottom. Yeah, that's that's weird. The edit, the letter X needs leg days. <laughs> Jim in the chat. Uh, I I mean, it's always cool to see a little insight of development. Uh, yeah. but uh, 
It was a weird one. I don't know what's with the little spinny thing. Like, I there's a lot of I got a lot of questions. Yeah, I'd like to see more from NX development. Yeah, I mean, it's just a cool little peek into Nintendo's history that you never get to see because they are like the Iron Curtain over there. Yeah, and how did we find this? Um, the uh, prototype of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe was leaked. Ah, right, right, right. So. right, right. Uh, well, that's not that exciting because the prototype of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe <laughs> is Mario Kart 8. Yeah. So, <laughs> that's not a big deal. <laughs> anyway, uh, next we got... Uh, Microsoft news. Remember, remember that. Remember that streaming console they've been, yeah. they, they've been doing. Keystone. Keystone. It's they canceled called? it because it was going to be too damn expensive. Xbox boss wanted to hit a ninety nine or one hundred and twenty nine price point for its streaming device. Ooh. Uh, announced last summer and codenamed Keystone, the standalone device uh, is designed to let players stream Xbox games to TVs or monitors without the need for a console. Microsoft's head of gaming told the Verge's Decoder podcast. Uh, Phil Spencer, head of gaming, um, that the company built Keystone and some employees took it home to test it out. It was spotted in a photo of Spencer's office last month, uh, but while it worked well, it was proving too costly to produce. The console we built that now people have seen, Keystone, was more expensive than we wanted it to be when we actually built it out uh, with the hardware that we had inside. And we decided to focus on the team's efforts on delivering the smart TV streaming app, he said. With Keystone, we're still focused on it, and when we get and when we can get the right costs, and when we can and when we can get the right costs, but when you're got a Series S at two ninety nine, and like during the holidays, you'll see a price promotion. You'll obviously see the Series X for higher. I think in order for a streaming only box to make sense, the price delta to the S has to be pretty significant. That makes sense. I want to be able to include a controller in it when uh, when we go do that. Uh, he continued, so it. And so it was really about if we can build the right product at the right price, or if we can't, how can we focus our team's efforts? And we decided to go the TV app on Samsung, and we're really happy with the results. Uh, uh, that that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Because, uh, I mean, Xbox controller, we're seeing them now on sale for the cheapest 40 bucks, which yeah. is pretty good. Uh, it makes sense to want to include a controller. Mm-hmm. Um. And it makes sense. The Series S, they're giving it away now. Yeah. It's, it's, you get as little as two hundred dollars. Yeah. So, in order for the Keystone to make sense, the streaming only box, it needs to be very cheap. Yeah. So they need to hit around a hundred dollars, and it also has to come with a controller. So that is a crazy margin. Yeah. Uh, he goes on to talk about uh, if he wanted for maximum one hundred twenty nine dollars, ideally a hundred dollars. Um, then he says you want to control the controller. Um, they couldn't include the controller. The reason it's on his shelf is the team rolled up their sleeves, and in nine months, they built the thing, and a bunch of us took it home and worked on it, and uh, worked really, really well. So, I mean, hopefully, you know, they have the prototype, so they have a starting ground, so they can, you know, I'm sure they're not going to give up on this. They're we're just not going to see it for a very long time now, because they're going to take what they have and they're going to really examine it and look at it, and like go from there. But I don't think it's going to be a priority for them. Right. So, like, they see it, they saw the streaming app on Samsung TVs worked. They'll probably move it to Apple TV mm-hmm. and, you know, like, other streaming devices. I could see this taking the place of a Series S, honestly. Yeah. Uh, because they have a hard time figuring out that price point. <clears throat> and also, if this is the thing that's, that's supposedly holding back the generation, if the Series S is the thing that's supposedly holding back the generation, the solution would be just a streaming box. Well, the streaming box... Again, streaming is the key word here. That would mean Game Pass. And right. Not every game is on Game Pass. Right. They so, Well, they would need to have a solution for that. Exactly. Well, if they're going to replace the Series S, they would right. have a solution yeah. for that. Uh, also, they would need to have a solution for like games not supporting the Series S anymore. Like That would yeah. be a huge problem. Uh, no banana suits. Sean in the chat says, I got a bone to pick with the Series S. With increasing amounts of devs complaining about the console being an albatross. Pause. Just Gotham Knights. <laughs> I gotta <laughs> wonder how much Microsoft is holding back next-gen development in the same in the name of selling Game Pass boxes. We yeah. talked about this before. Uh, I don't I, think they are. I was under the impression... When the, when the thing was announced, I was under the impression... The architecture was made as such that the only difference in 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 performance was that the games run at a lower resolution. I am not a developer, so I don't know 
how true that is. Mm -hmm. I don't know how true that is based on the architecture. So, uh, to me, it sounds like a cop out from the Gotham Knight devs, but, uh, I'd like to know more. I'd like to actually speak to some Xbox developers or something. I had the, um, the actual specs of the series X and S. Mm Mm-hmm. Now I can't find it. It's a teraflop problem, is what it is. Yeah. Uh, where is it? Here we go. All right. So the CPU, they both use AMD's uh, Zen 2 processors. The X has eight cores at 3.8 gigahertz, but the S has eight cores at 3.6 gigahertz. That's not so, a big difference. <laughs> uh, the GPU are both custom RDNA 2s. Uh, the X has a 52 CUs at 1.8 gigahertz. And the Series S has uh, 20 CUs at 1.5. The X does 12 T flops, and the S does four. Yes. Yeah. So yes. that's that's like the big difference right there. Yeah, it's the flops. It's the teraflops. Yeah. Uh, mem- Memory is also less. Uh, 16 gigs versus 10 gigs. Now that could be a problem. That could the be memory a problem. could be yeah. the biggest problem because you shouldn't need all of this stuff. If, if you it's this difference between 4k and 1440p mm-hmm. a lot of these developers are not gonna be hitting 4k yeah is, is a lot of where the problem is yeah. is that they're like i don't want to hit 4k and then they're like well, let's just use all the power of the console and then yeah and then they that's where mm-hmm. the series s becomes a problem uh but memory is a problem even if you're it doesn't matter what res what resolution you're playing yeah. at and you need memory yeah anyway uh, hey, there's more Phil Spencer stuff. That's right. He doesn't shut up, that guy. No. Uh, <laughs> Phil Spencer has said that Microsoft sh- uh, should Microsoft acquire Activision Blizzard, uh, the company will continue to ship Call of Duty on PlayStation as long as there are PlayStation consoles to ship out to. On the same brain YouTube channel, Spencer said, uh, we're not... Same brain? That's... I just seen thing. Yes. Uh, we're not taking Call of Duty from PlayStation. That's not our intent. Our intent is not to do that. And as long as there's a PlayStation ship out to our intent is that we will continue to ship Call of Duty on PlayStation, similar to what we've done with Minecraft since we've owned that. Uh, he goes on to reiterate how Microsoft has kept Minecraft on other platforms and that Xbox can do the same for Call of Duty over the next few years. Spencer also notes that players have invested a lot of time into their respective console ecosystems and that most the most notable change is that more games will be coming to Game Pass. Spencer also said that he'd like to see the series on Nintendo Switch, which he has wow. said that before. Yes, that's because true. it's ridiculous that Call of Duty has not been on Switch. Yeah, and I've played uh, the new Warzone, and it's pretty good. Yeah. I kind of like it. I don't like a lot of the changes they've made. Like, uh, I really hope that there, like there's no loadout system. And part of yeah. what I really like about, uh, I mean, there is a loadout system. It just works different. Part of what I really liked about Warzone before was changing your loadout and finding new guns mm-hmm. to play with and unlocking stuff. And that that was kind of like doing an RPG style build in. A multiplayer game. It was yeah. just fun. Uh, figuring out what the new meta is and stuff. Mm-hmm. But uh, it's a lot different in this game. You don't get the loadout till way later. And it seems to matter a lot less. Yeah. Uh, and I hope that there's other ways to, to, to... You can buy guns at buy stations now. I hope that they let you buy a loadout gun. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, it's great. And, I, and it runs really good, at least yeah. on the computer. Uh, they also released Call of Duty Warzone Mobile, I think. Or they're releasing it soon. Okay. So where's the switch version? Yeah. Where's the switch version? There's uh, no reason why to not have that. There's an update to the article. Uh, it basically says that Microsoft offered Sony, according to the New York Times, Microsoft offered Sony a 10-year deal to keep Call of Duty on PlayStation on November 11th, but Sony declined to comment about the offer. That was the biggest deal of the whole article. Yes. Because. Sony keeps bitching that, that yeah, like that they're, they're gonna take Call of Duty away from us. Which, to be fair, is a very big deal. Yes, because Sony spent a lot of money to become like not the not the sole uh, platform of Call of Duty, but like the main platform for Call of Duty. It's the one that's in the uh, most of the marketing. It's the one that uh, gets all the DLC first and all the exclusive stuff first. Yeah, but Xbox was that during the 360 era, right? But then Sony became right. that during the playstation 4 era and they still are that yes yeah, so, suck it up it's switching back well in the ps4 era a lot of people switched over right to sony and that became their call of duty box yeah and they don't 
you know, Sony has such a lead on that, they don't want to let that go. And Microsoft is basically saying, we're not going to let it go. We're going to share our toys. This is like when a a girlfriend is like, are you cheating on me? Are you cheating on me? Are you cheating on me? (laughs) Because they're like projecting onto you. Yeah. You know, PlayStation, given the opportunity, would make Call of Duty exclusive. 1,000% 1,000% they would make Call of Duty But exclusive. Destiny isn't exclusive. And they own Bungie now. It uh, it will be. <laughs> it's not because it was on everything when it okay. came out. You know? We haven't had a new Destiny under PlayStation True. ownership. Destiny is fucked. <laughs> All right? PlayStation would not play night. They put things on PC. Fine. Yeah. They've been, they seem to be happy with that. They ain't never putting Destiny on Xbox again. Right. Um... So that's what I that's what I think. And PlayStation has has my biggest issue with the reason why I'm so salty about PlayStation, yeah. why I think they should shut the fuck up, is because they're the reason that a uh, 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 cross platform play took so long. Right. It's it was all their fault. And it's still they're the ones causing a lot of problems because developers have to pay them a licensing fee yeah. to do it sometimes. They're not really as forthcoming as the other systems are with yeah. that sort of thing. So I, I like boohoo, like <laughs> suck it up. They're trying to work it out with you and, yeah. and whatever. I'd like to know what what the deal, the 10 year deal was. I'm sure yeah. it involved a lot of money, but you know, it's not your, it's, it's not your game anymore. Yeah. Anyway, I didn't expect to yell about PlayStation today. <laughs> More Activision news, though. In uh, a somewhat surprising turn, Blizz- uh, Activision Blizzard, the California-based gaming publisher behind global hits like World of Warcraft and Overwatch, uh, will be suspending most of its games in China due to the expiration of the licensing agreements with NetEase, the second largest gaming company in the country. Blizzard's announcement set to- is set to end a 14-year licensing partnership between the two gaming giants. All told, Blizzard has been providing gaming services in China through various partners, including EA-backed uh, The Nine, for 20 years. From January 2023, most of Blizzard's titles will stop operating in China. This includes World of Warcraft, Warcraft 3 Reforged, Overwatch, the StarCraft series, and Diablo 3. Diablo Immortal code development and publishing is covered under a separate agreement between the two companies, Blizzard said. Uh, this could mean that the game will likely continue service in China. The companies uh, re- each released their own responses explaining how they reached the ending of the marriage. The marriage. The marriage. Uh, Blizzard says the two parties have not reached a new deal, uh, not reached a deal to renew the arra- the agreements that is consistent with Blizzard's operating principles and commitments to players and employees. And the agreements are set to expire in January 2023. The decision came at the at a time when the silver lining appears that China's gaming industry, which has been hit with heavy handed regulation over the past few years, uh, China state media outlet People's Daily published an op ed this week titled "The Opportunity in the Gaming Industry Cannot Be Missed." Uh, but Blizzard is not. But Blizzard isn't giving up on China and is uh, open to finding alternative publishing partners, which are required for foreign games that serve the market. Uh, we are immensely grateful for the passion our Chinese community has shown uh, throughout the nearly 20 years that we've been bringing games to China through uh, NetEase and other partners, says Mikey Barra, the president of Blizzard Entertainment. Uh, even if Blizzard manages to land a new partner in the process of reapplying for a regulatory blah, 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 blah. Uh, China is very difficult with dealing with. Yes, we all know that. Termination mm-hmm. of the partnership seems to have a limited impact on NetEase's bottom line. Uh, still, NetEase shares plunge 11% uh, on the news Thursday in, in the Hong Kong market. Interestingly, NetEase also had this to say. We hold in high regard our product and operational standards and abide by our commitments to Chinese players. Uh, is NetEase hinting at dissatisfaction with how Blizzard operates in China? In any case, the divorce doesn't sound like an amicable one. Indeed, Simon Zhu, the president of Global Investment and Partnership at NetEase Games, posted this bitter message on LinkedIn. As a gamer who spent tens of thousands of hours in the world of Azeroth, StarCraft, and Overwatch, I feel so heartbroken as I will no longer be I will no longer have the access to my account and memories next year. One day when when what has happened behind the scenes could be told, developers and gamers will have a whole new level of understanding of how much damage a jerk can make. <laughs> Feel terrible for players who lived in those worlds. I don't understand how gaming works in China because, uh, I mean, I know that there's like 
some of the biggest game companies in the world are yeah. Chinese. Yes. Uh, and even games that we play here in America are owned by China. Right. Um, but for years, uh, gaming was banned in China. Yes. Or or what was it? Like gaming consoles, consoles were, banned were banned in China. China. Yeah. 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 So how did gaming work? Was it specific games were allowed or was it PC gaming was allowed? Like I what? think PC gaming was okay. I know Nintendo had the IQ player, which was literally just an N64, but that was a plug and play device. So that's why it that's was, what allowed? It was Yeah, it was okay. considered a like traditional set-top console. It was a plug and play Why, device. though? I don't know, man. Was it because people were addicted to gaming? Yeah, they were, were afraid, they afraid they were... it was going to be like a J- Japan situation? Yeah. Where people are like... People just game all the time. They don't do their homework. And they don't procreate? Yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah, they do have a lot of rules. They they have to have, a like they said in the article, they have to have a, a Chinese-specific... A Chinese local publisher published the game. Um, I'm sure there's all this censorship they got to go through because China, that's all they do is censor everything. Yeah. Um, it sounds like Blizzard is trying to be cool about it. And Simon Zhu from NetEase is just like, dude's being a jerk. <laughs> so this must have something to do with... Uh... Does this have anything to do with Xbox's ownership? Like, I mean, they'd probably have to renew the deal and they're probably going to, you know, probably negotiate in a weird way. Yeah. How else would, uh, what, like, what else? How was the deal before? Like, under Activision's previous ownership, would this deal have worked out? I mean, it seemed to have been working for 14 years. Mm-hmm. something must have changed for the worse. Was it some money under the table and Microsoft this time was like, we don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, something. There was some sort of deal that worked in the past but doesn't work now all of a yeah. sudden. And coincidentally, it's owned by Microsoft now. Yeah. So I something's weird. Uh, Wait, can't they not game except for one hour a day on weekends too? That was like a weird... That was like a thing of a minor thing. Like for minors. For minors, yeah. And like... There's a lot of weird parameters for that. Like during yeah. the school day, like like there was yeah. a lot of weird. Par- it, w- it wasn't necessarily like a ban on on gaming. That's again, chi- uh, gaming in China is very strange. It's yes. a very strange world. Um, here's some cool news that excited me a little bit. I was oh, not yes. expecting to yes, want. I am very happy about this. <laughs> yeah, this is very weird. Hyperkin. Uh, is remaking the Xbox 360 controller for modern consoles and PC. Yes, Hyperkin is introducing an officially licensed remake of Microsoft's original Xbox 360 controller, which looks poised to bring the 2005... <gasps> They're pink! That's yeah. not the pink, though. That's a shit pink. That's that, not the same pink. That's just the, the f- marketing graphic. It could be different okay. when it comes out. All remember? right. All right. All right. Okay, Com- cool your jets. Uh, yeah, the re-release Hyperkin is re-releasing the Xbox 360 controller for win- for modern Xbox consoles and Windows PC. The Xenon controller, named after the 360's first internal development code name, uh, brings back the 17-year-old design and modernizes it uh, with the menu view and share buttons, as well as a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and detachable USB-C cable. Uh, in addition to the original white, it comes in black, pink, and red. Uh, pricing and availability have not been announced yet, but if Hyperkin's seventy dollar Duke controller remake is any indication, it might be quite, it might be a quite faithful and somewhat pricey recreation, uh, perhaps even too faithful in some aspects, as these early renders show a D-pad that has the same left lean as the original. Uh, personally, I used to, personally, I use sand uh, the inner left wall of the D-pad surrounding my three sixty controller to give the left directional press a little more room. Uh, we'll Seriously? see what the actual control. I never noticed that. A left lean in the D-pad? I've never, never no- noticed that. I knew that they were squishy, and yeah. that was a big criticism of that D-pad, was they, that it was very they, squishy. It was a shitty D-pad. Yeah. And that's why they redid it in future evolutions. But they, it was... They, they just made it so that the directional buttons were easier to press. It was still just as squishy. Right, yeah. It was a trick to fool you. And then in, and then in the one and series controllers, they made it clicky. Yes. And that was sick. Yes. But... Look at it. I mean, all right. Yeah. I don't know how I feel now. Like, I, it's cool idea, and also, I don't think it's wireless at all. It's not. It is a uh, USB C. That's because Microsoft doesn't let anybody license yeah. their wireless for some reason. <coughs> uh, look at look I'm at okay. look at the pink. This is what this is pink. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah. And that's... then this is there. Also, 
So even if even if mm-hmm. the pink was the same, mm-hmm. which it's not. Look at how different that pink is. Yeah. The buttons are, I mean, the thumbsticks and D-pad are white in this. Right. And the back is white. Mm. This has the gray. gray. Yeah. I don't like it. I mean, again, price and availability has not been announced yet. Still have time to change it. Also, I think the straight up white controllers. Yeah. 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 Okay. Those start and select buttons should be white. Yes. And I think the back is white on this. On the new one? I can't tell. It's no, the back is gray. That's gray. You're right. It's gray. Yeah. It's gray. Um, yeah, I don't know. What, I mean, those are the new buttons, the menu, uh, back, and... Oh, uh, okay. No, what is it? Menu, view, and share buttons. Right. Because the original just had start and back. Whoop. I hit the wrong button. Uh, I... I mean, you know what? Prior to this podcast, I didn't know they were making a pink one. On this point, it's not the pink pink, but I kind of like the, the black one looks great. Yeah, the black one looks perfect. The black one looks exactly how it should, especially mm-hmm. in this yeah. bottom picture. But that looks like the... Is that... The the very bottom is an original. I knew it. <laughs> I, knew, I was like, where's the USB-C? Because it, yeah. it has a USB-C now. Uh, I'd like to see a comparison between the two. Yeah, I would love to get my hands on this because the 360 controller was at the time like my favorite video game controller. It was like the yeah. perfect controller. Yeah. And then even uh, with the shitty D-pad. Yeah, I, I agree. And uh the future iterations became the best controller. Yeah. But I mean people still use their 360 controller as their PC controller to this yes. day. Yeah, because it's again one of the best PC controllers. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of uh aftermarket controllers and uh homebrewed controllers that still act like 360 controllers because 360 controllers are so universally accepted. Yeah. In, in, it was finally the one controller that set a standard for PC gaming. Yeah. Uh, anyway, yes, we all know D pad sucks. We all know yes. I, when I, when I tweeted about it today, everyone yeah. was like, oh, too bad the D pad sucks. It's like I bred, uh, a, a, a community of D pad haters <laughs> or, or D pad. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, D pad snobs. Yeah. So listen, um, some games you don't play with a D pad. Yeah. Most 360 games you didn't play with the D pad. No, 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 no. All right, Ubisoft shares Splinter Cell remake update with new concept art. Should I be worried, Will? Um, I mean, no. It looks like Splinter Cell. Okay. A 20-minute presentation? Hold yeah. On. Ubisoft has unveiled a few tidbits of information and some early concept of its upcoming Splinter Cell remake. The series celebrates its 20th anniversary, which the publisher commemorated with a video highlighting, uh, discussing some of its highlights. Or oh, just swallowing a phlegm. Oh, great. <laughs> Last year, Splinter Cell Remake was uh, announced to be in development at Ubisoft Toronto. And it's said to be rewriting the game's story for a new audience. Now the team has shared a little more information about what we can expect. Uh, when discussing the remake, technical director uh, Christian uh, Carrari said that the game will be offering audio and visual, visual updates to create compelling and detailed settings. Special Forces AI will be offering more depth to the game as well by breaching differently or entering rooms differently uh, to that of regular soldiers. How far that extends to other AI is it to be revealed, though. Uh, for players, we can expect Sam Fisher's cat and mouse gameplay with enemies to be improved upon. Uh, f- yeah, so uh, not mentioned in this article, but uh, seen elsewhere, they said that you can complete the entire game without killing anybody. Oh, I love you that. You do a complete pacifist run. That's not a thing in Splinter Cell, right? That's a, that's a Metal Gear thing. No, it's a thing. That's a thing in Splinter Cell? I mean, it's not, it's, they don't come out and say it, but like, as far as I know, aside from like maybe one or two bosses, like you could go through the game and just knock everybody out. Okay. Can you do that in uh, Conviction? Because that game is all about shooting people in the face. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure if you're good enough, you can. You can. Okay. I know the fir- the very first game, there were a lot of levels where you were not allowed to kill anybody. Okay. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. Uh. Hey, what's that guy doing there? This is, that's an IGN guy. What's that? What's that guy? What's his name? I forgot his name. Oh, that's um, that's Ryan McCaffrey. Yeah, what's he doing? Probably hosting it. That's cool. Uh, yeah. I mean, I'm excited for this game. Yeah. I don't know. I don't trust him. No. That concept art looked kind of cool, though. I'm kind of down. Yeah, but uh, I should I should have found an article that actually. And this had... this kind of looks like conviction, where it's like yeah. some sort of political. Is he holding a knife? He is holding a knife because that got introduced in the third game. 
Okay. Interesting. Interesting. I like it. I'm I'm interested. Yeah. I'm down to play it. I want I want this game to be good because Splinter Cell yeah. is good. And I want there to be more Splinter Cell games. Uh I hope there's a demo. Yeah. That's all I could say. Mm-hmm. Uh all right. Last bit of news that we have for the day is Bayonetta 4 has been announced. <laughs> Uh, Bayonetta 3 is only a few weeks old, but series creator Hideki Kamiya has already confirmed that Bayonetta 4 is in development. He also said the game's ending wasn't conveyed correctly and that Bayonetta 4 will be an unexpected development. Um, although Bayonetta 3 enjoys significant critical acclaim, fans have expressed displeasure over the game's ending, which made certain decisions about Bayonetta's future and the romantic life that pro- proved unpopular with the general player base. Its technical performance on the aging Switch hardware has also been the subject of criticism. While it's, while it's difficult to get into the ending apparent problems without revealing major spoilers, um, GameSpot editor Jessica Howard uh, explored the game's themes in a recent feature article. As a whole, it's fair to say that the announcement of Bayonetta 4 isn't exactly surprising, given how popular the previous games of the series have been. However, the fact that Kamiya is announcing the move less than a month after Bayonetta 3's launch is definitely a bit unorthodox. Either way, judging from Platinum's recent output, we shouldn't expect to play the game anytime soon. So there's a bit of a spoiler for the end of Bayonetta 3, uh, but uh, I won't say it. Okay. <laughs> but that's part of why it's like so weird to introduce it so quickly that there's a Bayonetta 4. Yeah. Um, I look. I looked it up after. I have not played Bayonetta 3. Me neither. I looked into it more. And uh, yeah. it's, it seems that that's kind of... I mean, obviously, it's a big franchise. Of course, there's going to be another one. Yeah. But... Um, some stuff happens that makes it weird for a fourth game. You know, there there needs to be a lot of explanation and it sounds like they might just pretend like nothing happened uh, or something. I don't know. Uh, Kamiya, I think tweeted spoilers himself. So (laughs) I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I've, I heard a lot of mixed things about Bayonetta three. Yeah. For me, it looks like same old Bayonetta. Uh, I think I read the Kotaku article about this, and he, the guy who wrote the Kotaku article, straight up said I didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't know. Uh, interesting. I mean, it's, yes. it's very interesting to say there's going to be a Bayonetta four so close yeah. to the I release mean, of Bayonetta three. You only really say that if you know something is wrong. <laughs> right. Exactly. Yeah. That's uh, that's every bit of news we have here. Yes. Um, do we I, do the unboxing first, or no? Let's do the tweet of the week. I All right. Know where I put the tweet of the week, though, let's put it here, and then we go like this. And with that, and here's the tweet. It's <laughs> never have I ever seen a man armed and unarmed at the same time, and it's a guy with no arms, <laughs> but he has a gun. No way. No way. That's Internet Hall of Fame. <coughs> Thank you, Internet Hall of Fame. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, we have an un- we have unboxings to do. We have we a do. lot of cool stuff. It's been a long time since we've done like a big old unboxing. And mm-hmm. here we go. Here is the unboxing. I don't have a cool camera. Will, why don't you take a look at the uh, Sega Genesis Mini? With pleasure. This I, is. I'm going to get a knife. This is the Genesis yeah. Mini 2. Oh, yeah. Um, so a few years ago, they did the Genesis Mini. It was the original model Genesis, the big one. And now they did a Model 2, which is the smaller Genesis. The Model 2 Genesis, the one Bob and I had growing up. The one everybody I knew had growing up. So I don't think we need the knife for it because it's got pull tabs. No, I got other stuff. Like, for example, right. in my Steam Deck video, I mentioned a usb-c hub that was very similar to the steam deck dock Mm -hmm. and i think they sent it to me Ooh, this one doesn't have a display port though okay um micro usb so cheapskates over there (laughs) hdmi cable so thank you for that Uh, i'll make some room here for you the controller now this is a six button controller that's good. Yes. We like that. Which is what everybody wanted to include in the first one. Just mm-hmm. one controller this time instead of two. Um, I've heard that the controller is actually bad, but it feels fine. Feels good. This Steam Deck dock is huge. That's huge? Yeah. Well, I guess I'm used to the Switch dock. <laughs> yeah, no. The, the Steam Deck dock, I'll show you. Yeah. Uh, but 
It has an Ethernet on the side. Okay. That's why it's so big, I guess. Very, very strange. Very strange Steam Deck dock here. Uh, it doesn't have a brand name. It just uh, says six in one multifunction hub. You know, this is good because uh, Hannah just got a new monitor and it's USB C only. I'm going to plug this in the back. There you go. She can plug all Give of her stuff test. into it. Uh, USB power brick and the actual. Oh, God, this thing is tiny. Oh, I should have brought my wife's Genesis to compare. Look at this thing. Oh, my God. Good it's God. All hell. It's so small. Okay, I can. Oh, oh my God! The 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 cartridge slot functions. Oh, that's cute. So I already found a flaw with this. Oh boy. The original Genesis Model Two had two buttons on here: power and reset. Uh, this one, the power button is a switch. Ooh. So throw it out. It's not accurate. <laughs> no good. So this is the normal Steam Deck, though. Okay. Uh, look at how. Look at how tiny it is. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. So this one, I'm assuming, is a lot cheaper. Right. So it's probably like around 50 bucks. I don't right. know. The, I don't even know who sent it to us. Actually, what is this? This is an Amazon slip. Jiuxu Direct. Okay. Uh... J I A Y U X U direct. So yeah, it's probably just cheaper. I mean, it's freaking huge, and I guess look at the the the, the freaking where the Steam Deck sits is is a lot bigger than the thickness of the Steam Deck. It's very strange. I don't know. Well, thank you for that. I guess. Uh, what else do I have? Is this a case for the Steam Deck? Yeah, this is a kickstand case for the Steam Deck. I guess from the case. same people. Uh, let's check it out. Very interesting. So what games so, does that thing have? Uh, 12 uh, Sega CD games, including Sonic CD, Shining Force, Night Trap, Sewer Shark, uh, Final Fight. Uh, 41 Genesis games, including Fantasy Star 2, uh, Desert Storm, Earthworm Jim 2, uh, Sonic 3D Blast, Super Street Fighter 2, um, Rise Star, Streets of Rage 3, um, and seven bonus original titles. So those were games that were never put on the Genesis, but they were arcade games that they ported over. So I should mention, I bought that. Right. Uh, I just had nowhere else to talk about it. <laughs> so I don't know it, why I bought it. It is a weird it. thing because like, this, this came out well after the mini console craze. Mm -hmm. um, it is very expensive because you can only get it from the Sega of Japan store through Amazon. Yeah. Uh, so you have to pay for international shipping. Yeah. Um, this is like the other one was more of a, and you know, the games are like, I don't want to say they're B tier games. There's a lot of like really good games on here, but you know, they're not as like high profile as the first Genesis classic. Yeah. So this is definitely a niche product. Whereas the first one was more like mainstream friendly. Right, right, right. Um, that said, I kind of wish this was the form factor of the original because this was yeah. my, this was our Genesis. I mean, it has a lot of the same games as the first one too, though. Yeah. Uh, so here's a kickstand case. Uh, it's a case for the Steam Deck, like a live-in case. That yeah. You play it in. I. Okay, that's how it works. Uh, it's kind of like a form-fitting live-in case. Um, I don't love it. The front uh has zero protection whatsoever. Right. The kickstand looked cool for a second. But now I can't get it back the way it... to a neutral. Yeah, back to neutral, like that. Yeah. No, it's not. Oh, it has to snap in. Okay, there that's kind of cool. Uh, yeah, I don't love it. I, I wouldn't stick like this. It'd yeah. be interesting to see. It. This will probably fit in the case like this too. Oh, I think so. Oh, whatever. I'll, 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 you know, I'll leave it on for a while. See how I feel. Mm -hmm. I also have this box of stuff here. Light shield. Oh, okay. So, um. A company called Light Shield makes uh, cases, like very, very minimal cases for controllers. Okay. So this one, I believe, is it's probably a... Oh, it says right here. GameCube controller? Wow. Huh. Okay. Oh, that reminds me. You gave me permission to buy a GameCube shell. I got to do that later. 
It's a pre-order that yes. I think it's going to take months. It, yeah, it is. But I got a pre-order now because it's 100 bucks now. And if you wait, it's like 130 Oh. So. This comes in a cool, fancy, like, velvet case here. This is a cool bag. So it, like, snaps on the front and it only protects the buttons. It's very, very minimal. Okay. So I don't know how I really feel about that. Uh, also, the prototype that we had previously, uh, it was very, very tight, and it felt like it might damage the controller. So this is it. It just snaps on the front. Okay. But see, my criticism is that uh, it's so stiff. There's like no padding on the inside. Yeah. So when you snap it, you're scratching the front of the controller. I guess it's like I can understand like if you don't because cases do take up a lot of room. Yeah. And if you just want to like throw it in your bag and I, like because the buttons are the things that are most important. Yeah, I do really. I, I I do like the minimalness of it because yeah. I do only want to protect the buttons a lot of the time, especially game control. Who really cares? Yeah. It's, a, it's a cheap controller. Uh, the newer ones. Right. You know, they're cheap and you don't want to throw a controller in your bag because the thumbsticks will get pushed in a direction yeah. that could really damage the thumbsticks, uh, especially an old controller like a GameCube. Mm -hmm. But something like this could scratch the sides and that's just yeah. as bad, you know? So yeah. uh, I don't know how I feel about that. Anyway, also Genki, remember them? They yes. made a dock, and they yes, and I've been seeing this all over the place. They were trying to, they keep trying to get me to talk about their stuff. Yeah. Uh, I use their Shadow Cast, yes. believe it or not, uh, to stream with now, and that's pretty good. Uh, what is this? The, oh, this oh, that's is, the dock. This is what I've seen ever. Can I get the knife? Yes. This is the covert dock mini. This is basically the smallest um, dock for your Switch. I have that already. There's uh this is the new one. This is even oh, there's smaller. Oh, the new one. Yeah. Uh, I think you can also connect your Steam Deck to it. They also, I feel very bad. I appreciate this. They gave me waveform earbuds. Okay. That are Bluetooth. That I guess are for the Switch and iPhone and whatever. Uh, and I guess they gave me a USB to Lightning cable and uh <laughs> and uh like ear tips ear yeah. tip things. I don't like wireless headphones. I know. I might find a use for these. They might be useful for something like streaming uh, yeah. when I'm away from the PC or something, so I don't need like a long cable. Like that's what Wood does when we do uh, our, our podcasts. So this is it. Oh, that is very tiny. This is very tiny. It has an HDMI port and a USB-C port, and that's and it. that's it. This could, if this works for Android, this might be useful for some other stuff. Uh, what does it say? Is this why I got USB C to Lightning, or is that for the freaking? Uh, That's probably for the. Wait, why would you get that for Bluetooth headphones? For syncing, maybe, or for charging? Oh, here we go. Uh, 4K display port, AV output, uh, stream any game, movie, or slides to the big screen. Works with TVs, projectors, monitors, and theater. USB Type C PD 3.0 quickly charges and casts all of your latest devices. Switch, MacBook, iPad Pro, iPhones, Android, Steam Deck. That's cool. I might actually use that. Uh, I won't use it for the Switch because I still don't trust third-party docks for the Switch. Right. But uh, also, how would it charge? Oh yeah, I get. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, that makes sense. I. Uh, might use this for an Android device. And uh, it might be very helpful. This is the USB-C cable it comes with. It is very nice. Cool. Nylon and right angled. So. Oh, that's good. That Shadowcast yeah. came with a similar one. And it's great. I like the right angle USB cable. Well, thank you, game. And a sticker. I might actually everything have, comes with a sticker. I might actually have use for this. There you go. Uh, thank you very, very much. All right. Oh, that's it for the unboxing, everybody. Hey. Now we're it. in... Uh, no, now we got to look at last week's Wolf Den podcast. Yes. Our uh, big return to in-person. Can I do this? <laughs> uh, can I be in Discord in two places at once? I can. I sure can. There you go. Uh, oh, and then I can I can show it on screen now. Ooh. I got I got fancy technology here. Isn't the future great? Eddie Yoshi from last week's Wolf Den Live uh, podcast. So sorry. <laughs> says seeing the Wolf Bros in person again with the color matching chairs and sharing Oreos made me so happy I could cry. Aw. Aw, we hope you did cry. 
as he holds a knife. G Garcia they, uh, says, "What whatever internet you guys are using is great." Will didn't stutter once this whole episode. <laughs> Honestly, we're on, we're still on Wi. We're streaming this on Wi Fi. Wow, I have not run the cable yet. Wow. So just being in the same room, just being in the same room. Takes. Wolf Den Dad oh, says, God. "Good to see you back together, but that doesn't look like my basement." That's because it's not. We moved out, old man. We got our we're own. Adults we now. don't need you anymore. Yeah. Oh, that said, I need to borrow your hedge trimmer. I, I need your car. Now. I need yeah. a car. <laughs> 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 Tiffany Torgerson says, my most anticipated game is Hogwarts Legacy. Interesting. I want to get a custom Hufflepuff controller for it. Is that a thing? Uh, and for what system? Oh, because well, well, we showed off the, the design lab controller. Oh, good point. Yeah. Good point. So Okay. Yeah, you can make a nice custom... Hufflepuff controller, whatever color that house is. I don't know. I gave up after movie five because movie five is a bad movie. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm not surprised. Uh, Isaac Ray says, have you guys played any Xenoblade game ever? Nope. Nope. Not a once. And you know what I did today? I asked Wood for footage of Xenoblade because I don't want to touch it. <laughs> anyway, now we're in the chat chat. Yes. Make it good, people. Make it good. Uh, make it good. Yes. Uh, where are we? oh Mimi memes? Thank you for the twenty eight months. Twenty eight. Nice to see you, bros, together for reals. One day early, happy birthday. One day early, happy birthday to me, and happy Thanksgiving to everyone. So, well, happy birthday, Mimi memes. Yes, happy birthday. Uh, did you read the books, Will? Which the books? books? What books? There are a lot of books. I don't. There's very many books. Yeah, I've got a lot of books that I have not read. Blue Dusk says, "What are your plans for Thanksgiving? Going to our parents?" Yes, that's it. That's it. Oh, the uh, Mecha Dragon says the Harry Potter ones. No, and let me let me just say that. Take the knife. <laughs> let me say this. I've I've saw movies one through five, and I don't like movie five, and I haven't seen the rest of the movies yet. Because when I asked about, I had questions about movie five. Everybody's answer started with, "Did you read the book?" <laughs> and this is this is what started Will's descent into madness with Harry Potter. Here, because this here, is why he hates all Harry Potter here's, movies. Now, here's the thing: the mo- I should not have to do homework when I go see a movie. I will see the previous movie in the series. Granted. But I should not have to read an entire book You're to right. cover up for plot holes and mistakes in your movie. You should be a good enough filmmaker to cre- to adapt your book into a movie. You, if, if you're just leaving things out under the assumption that the audience has read the book, then that's a failure on you. I don't ask people when they go see a Marvel movie, did you read the comics? Because that's not what a good movie does. Yeah. You're right. So, Although I do do that with Watchmen. <laughs> Watchmen's a weird case. Uh, but at least you can watch the movie and understand what's going on. Legend of Thief says your closet doors are no longer backwards. Good night. I thought of you <laughs> when I fixed it about an hour ago. Uh, and all my life, I've never seen the fifth movie. I bounced around. I don't know which Harry Potter movies I saw. They all blurred together, and I had an equally bad time during all of them. <laughs> Says the guy that used to do videos of comics to read before seeing a movie. That Those were your choice if you wanted to. Those were your choice and also algorithm. Yes. Uh, Brutal Beast. Will hates magic confirmed. Yeah. Yeah. I don't like sorcery. I'm not, yeah, I'm not the biggest, like, you know, mysticism guy. Like, there's a couple of books about magic I like, but I was always more of, like, science fiction. Yeah. Because, like, that stuff's got, like, gadgets and toys. And, like, I like gadgets and toys. I need rules. Like, magic, it seems like a lot of stories that involve magic plot is used in the plot. Yeah. Like, oh, no, this happened. Magic. Yeah, the the hubbledy-bubbledy-bob. Yeah. And then, like, the... the <laughs> things fixed Mm -hmm. like that's not okay that's not cool you can't that make that then like everything could just be explained with magic yeah and bad star wars stories do that 
bad Superman stories do that. Yeah. Bad Batman stories do that. Yeah. Superman will do it where they just make up a freaking power for him. Yeah. And Batman will do it where he has a gadget that just solves it like shark yeah. repellent. So. so. Uh, best magic movie is Your Highness. I don't know that movie. Oh, I know that movie. That was okay. Uh, sounds like y'all read books with good science-based magic systems that explain their systems. What? There are some magic. Oh, y'all need to read. Yeah, there... science-based magic. Not like not like science, science, but like there are rules and limitations to the magic. Like Shazam is a good example. Like he can't just use his magic. Yeah. Like he says Shazam and he turns into a superhero, but there's limits to it. Right. Like and if he says his own name, he loses it. You know, it's not like he could just create a spell and mm-hmm. or like I really liked Paul Dini's run on Zatanna. It was only 16 issues. She's a magician, but, you know, she has to be able to speak in order to use her powers. Yeah. If she can't speak, how is she going to do it? So it's got to find clever ways around that uh awesome Jax says uh why andor is so good no magical force stuff that resurrects the big bad or whatever still haven't seen it i still haven't started i am an episode and a half in still mm-hmm. I, I gave up a while ago i wasn't that into it but i'm seeing such good things on the star wars subreddit so i want yeah. uh, i want to get back into it but there's a lot of episodes now i have a long way to go yeah it does look good. It does yes, look good. Yes, it's not that I don't want to see it. It's just that I have no time anymore. Jim Sla- Slatter Sup says, I kind of disliked No Way Home for that. I guess the magic stuff. Yeah, that was, yeah, yeah, was a no lot of... No Way Home, like I finally saw it and I'm just like, you people, not you people, you guys are cool. But mm-hmm. like Twitter just like made it such a bigger deal than it was. That was like not that good of a movie like it is i wish i saw it in theaters it when is it came out I, I wish i'm glad i didn't because i would have been caught up in the hype i'm glad i, I want to be home. that's why i like i used to love seeing marvel movies at midnight uh with everybody else yeah. like seeing it for the, that was such it was awesome to be part of that hype now everything's so distilled yeah you know but like you know there's parts of it i liked there's you know it was cool seeing the three of them on screen but like that could have been such a better movie and it that would it just really just wanted to be like hey remember this remember this remember yeah. this i mean i saw it on a flight on my laptop <laughs> i saw it over two nights at home <laughs> uh all right well then that's it yes thank you guys for hanging out thank you for tuning in thank you for watching us thank you for chatting with us as always the wolfden podcast is every tuesday night at 8 p.m eastern right here in boss basement on twitch.tv slash wolf if you can't make the show I have for a basement any reason now. at all we always put it up as an archive version over on a youtube channel youtube.com slash wolf podcast so you can go and watch us over there on demand whenever you want if you prefer to listen to us rather than watch us you can do that as well we're also an audio podcast on anchor.fm slash wolf podcast or your preferred podcast service of choice but no matter where you get the show from, folks, please be sure to subscribe, rate, and review us because that helps us with placement on all of those respective platforms. Uh, hey, AJ's playing Pokemon right now. Wouldn't you know it? Uh, I'm going to have a video up on probably Thursday, which is Thanksgiving. Yes. It will not be a Thanksgiving video, <laughs> but it will be about Pokemon. Uh, it's going to be a weird video because I normally don't talk about video games. Mm-hmm. Uh, but in this case... I'm talking about a video game. Uh, And I'll see you there on Thursday. There's also going to be a Nintendo podcast. I'm going to probably stream on Friday, but I might stream on Thursday if we get home early. There you go. Uh, Thanks for watching. uh, And we'll see you all later. Goodbye. Bye. Hello? Did I mute us? I didn't. Oh, boy. (laughs)